Hi everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. In this video, we are using implicit differentiation and we are going to use implicit differentiation to find the second derivative. So the process is a little complicated as far as um, having to take the derivative and then take the derivative again. Okay, but, um, but you know, just keep your work clean and I think um, you will be able to get there. So the equation is sine of x, sine of x, plus x squared y is equal to 10. In order to find the derivative, um, the second derivative, we first need to find the first derivative with respect to x. So we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of the left hand side and the right hand side with respect to x. So the uh, left hand side, the derivative of sine x with respect to x would be cosine of x plus here we will have a chain rule and a product rule because y is a function in terms of x. So the chain rule will apply there. Um, so derivative of x squared, which would be 2x multiplied to y plus the x squared multiplied by the derivative of y, which is dy dx. Um, and then that will equal to the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay, so to solve for dy dx, we would say dy dx is equal to subtract everything to the right hand side we will have negative cosine of x minus 2xy divided by x squared now instead of thinking of it as a minus minus i'm gonna go ahead and say that the second the first derivative dy dx is equal to i will write negative in the front and then that equal to cosine of x minus plus 2xy over x squared now the reason why i put the minus in the front is because i know i am going to have to take the second derivative um, so in order to take the second derivative, if I just wrote negative as the negative 1 in the front, then I'll just have that um, stay in the front and not have to worry about um, carrying it forward. Okay, so I mean carrying it forward all the time. Uh, we're just going to stick the negative in the front. All right, so then let's take the second derivative. And in order to take the second derivative here, we would have to apply the quotient rule. So I'm going to go ahead and write to um, a little bit further to the left here um, because I know I have to apply the quotient rule and it's going to be a little bit longer. So then the second derivative with respect to x, and that's the notation for it, is going to equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and keep the constant um, in the front, which means the negative is here. Okay, and then I'm going to apply the quotient rule for this part of um, the, the um, first derivative there. So I will have denominator be in x squared squared, which is x to the fourth power. And then um, quotient rule said the derivative of the numerator multiplied by the denominator x squared minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 2x multiplied by the numerator, which is cosine of x plus 2xy. Now I left that blank because I'm going to go back to that in just a second here. Derivative of cosine of, um, the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x plus the quotient rule will apply here so i might as well move this over a little bit here for some room okay 
uh, quotient rule will apply. So then the derivative of 2x would be 2 multiplied to y plus the derivative of y, which would be dy dx multiply to 2x in the, in the front here. I'm going to put the 2x in the front. Okay? That is that. Hmm. What are we going to do? We're going to have to go and clean that up. So let's go and clean that up. Second derivative is, and why I'm cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that big red negative sign. So I will have positive sign of x minus, and then the x squared get distributed into it. So I will have x squared in the front, sign x, minus 2x squared y, minus 2x to the third, dy dx and then negative times a negative is a positive 2x cosine of x negative times a negative is a positive 4x squared y Okay, so let's go and look for some uh, com not common um, light terms here. These are two light terms. Okay, so I will have the second derivative is, and I think everything will have an x in it. So I can just go ahead and divide everything by x as well while I'm combining like terms. So I will have x signed x negative 2x squared y plus uh, 4x squared y would give me a positive 2x squared y divided by an x. Everything has an x in it, so I'm going to divide an x, so I will just have 2xy. And on the denominator, if I divide by x, I'll have x to the third minus 2x squared dy dx. Okay, but dy dx is something that we know from before. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Plus 2 cosine of x. Okay, so let's go back to the blank. Remember what the blank was. That was dy dx, right? So let's go and grab dy dx. dy dx was negative cosine x. minus 2xy over x squared, okay? Now, as you can see, negative times negative is going to be positive, so everything here is going to be positive. x squared going to cancel with x squared. So let's go and rewrite our answer here. The second derivative with respect to x is... I will have x to the third on the denominator, x sine of x plus 2xy plus 2 cosine x plus that other 2 cosine x will give us 4 cosine x plus 4 x y and then 4xy plus 2xy I would say we have 6xy so to even combine further we would say our final final answer is the second derivative 
with respect to x is x sine of x plus 6xy plus 4 cosine of x all divided by x to the third. That is my final answer.